Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I want to talk about preheating your nitro engines. Now, it's super important to preheat your engines, especially when the engine is new or if you're racing in cool conditions. But it's never going to hurt to preheat your engine all the time. So if it's the middle of the summer, it's 90 degrees outside, 100 degrees, it's an engine that has four to six gallons on it, I'm guilty of it. I don't always preheat my engines in those conditions. But for sure, when the engine is new, at least the first, I would say, two to three gallons, it's good to preheat the engine in all conditions. And especially if it's cool out. If it's below 70 degrees, it's always a good idea to preheat your engine. It's going to pay off in the long run. It's, you're going to get a better performing engine, and you're also going to get more life or longevity out of the engine. Now, there's basically two methods for preheating your engine. I use the Protec 12 volt heater, and I also have a just standard heat gun from Harbor Freight. Now, I prefer to use the actual head heater because it kind of slowly brings the engine up to, to temp. The heat is directed um, at the cooling head and also the engine block but it does take a little bit more time than using a heat gun. Sometimes you get in a hurry, you wanna go ahead and preheat it really quick with a heat gun, but there's a couple things that you need to pay close attention to when using a heat gun. The first thing is safety. Obviously, this thing's putting out a ton of heat. You, you've gotta be really, really careful and make sure you're paying attention to where the heat is being directed because you can end up damaging like your radio tray, chassis brace, some of the plastic parts on the car. But from a performance standpoint, the big thing that you gotta pay close attention to is you want to make sure to direct the heat away from the carburetor. So you wanna make sure, just like with the Protec heater, that you're directing the heat to the cooling head and to the engine block, but not to the carburetor. Because what can happen is if you direct the heat to the carburetor, it's going to make it really, really difficult for the engine to, uh, to draw fuel and actually start. So sometimes you'll see if the carburetor is too hot, you'll see the fuel come through the line, gets to the carburetor, shoots back. Continue to put it on the box, even if you're priming the pipe, fuel will get to the carburetor and it'll shoot back. And this can happen even on a really hot day if you run out of gas and you go to restart your car and the carburetor is, is really saturated with heat. But again, with the, the heat gun, just be careful and make sure to direct the heat away from the carburetor and um, make sure, again, you're preheating the engine 180 to 200 degrees. And this is, is gonna make it easier once you fire up the engine to let it fully heat saturate and you can start making small adjustments if needed before you hit the track. So hopefully this is helpful. And um, again, just two options that I use for preheating my engines and also the importance of preheating your engines to be able to get the most life out of your engines.